What's up guys, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another light painting video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. The tools that I'm using for this tutorial are the new glitter stick from Light Painting Brushes. The one that I'll be using tonight is the green and gold, AKA the earth flavor of glitter stick. These come in a couple different colors and they create really cool textures that I hope you guys are gonna dig and I can't wait to see what everyone creates with these. For this video, I'm just gonna be creating a really simple orb, just kind of showing the texture that these things create. I absolutely love it. Um, the other tools that I'll be using are the orange and green color hoods and I'll just be using these for two reasons. Number one, just to add a little more light to the scene, to illuminate the scene. But secondarily, I'll also be using these to erase my feet from the image. If you guys find that when you're creating orbs, you see your feet in the image, there's a really simple way to eliminate that, to erase your orb feet. I'll link a video up here so you guys can check that out. I'll also put it down in the description of the video. But the simple thing is that light erases darkness. So if I have my feet in the image and then I go across that same area with some light, it will erase my feet out of the image and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when I go ahead and create it. I'm gonna go through how I'm creating this with the light on so you can see exactly what I'm gonna do and then I will turn the light off. We'll go ahead and create one and I'll show you what we get. The lights that I'm using are the Soonfire MX66 flashlight for the glitter stick and I'm using two Coast G26 flashlights with the color hoods. As always, all the tools are attached to my lights via the universal connector. The settings that I'm using are ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode. This is gonna be a pretty quick exposure, probably right around a minute, and that is including making the orb and illuminating the scene. To create the orb, there's two things I wanna keep in mind. Number one, my shoulder is always gonna be the center part of the orb. So I'm gonna mark a little spot on the ground and I'm just gonna make sure that my shoulder stays over that spot on the ground. That way I know I'm gonna have a nice symmetrical orb. The other way that I'm gonna keep a nice symmetrical orb is I'm gonna keep my arm equidistance away the entire time that I'm creating the orb like this. I do not want to you know, start out with my arm straight out and kind of bring it in or anything weird like that. I wanna make sure my arm stays straight as I'm going up and down and making my 360 degree rotation to make sure that I have a nice symmetrical orb. So I'm just gonna walk over to my spot real quick, show you how I'm doing it with the lights on. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better than when I turn the lights off, but this is exactly how I'm doing it. So, I'm on my spot here. I'm gonna start, obviously, all the lights off, start the exposure. I'm gonna do about a 270 degree rotation. So I'm gonna start with my body a little bit away from the camera, like here, I'm going to turn the light on and I'm just going to do this kind of squiggle back and forth motion as I go up and down. Again, remembering to keep my arm straight out the entire time as I go all the way around like this and making sure that my shoulder stays over that little mark I have on the ground. Does it come here? Does it go down? I'm going to remember where I'm at here, where my mark is, and then I'm going to come in with the color hoods and just illuminate that area. And then I'm also gonna use these just to illuminate the scene a little bit more as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights now and run through the image and show you exactly how I'm creating it. I'll talk you through exactly what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Settings again, ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode. Total exposure time will be probably about a minute. All right, here we go, starting the exposure. Walking over to my spot. Turn the light on. Doing this up and down, kind of back and forth motion, holding nice and tight at the universal connector. Just going in this full 360 while I keep my arm straight out and make sure that my shoulder stays over that same little center point that I marked on the ground. There we go. Now I'm not moving yet. I'm gonna turn on my color hoods. I'm gonna illuminate right there where I was standing, add a lot of light into that area there so that I can make sure my feet are erased out of this image. And 
also it's going to make it look like the orb is truly there because if the orb was there it would be projecting light out from where it is now i'm just going to illuminate the scene a little bit more using the color hoods here I like to really focus on any trees that are nice and close by where the orb was created to make sure you get a lot of light there. Again, is if the orb was actually there, it would be projecting out this light. The other thing you might notice is the color hoods don't allow any unwanted light streaks in the image because only the projected light is going to be seen by the camera. All right. That should do it. I'm gonna stop the exposure and see what we got. And there you go. Came out pretty cool there. You can see those really cool wavy textures. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Just a quick and easy one showing you how to make an orb using the new light painting brushes glitter stick. This is the green one, AKA Earth. We've got earth, wind, and fire, a couple different colors of these things, and they create a really cool texture of light. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.